Do you remember last year Bhutan's director Paul Wo Dorji's film Lunana Yak in the Classroom was nominated as one of the entries to Academy Awards Best International Film category. Although the film did not win the award, it won many hearts. The director himself was awarded the highest civilian award by the King of Bhutan himself. A new feature film from Pawo Dorji has been just released and premiered at Telluride Film Festival. The film, The Monk and the Gun takes a playful look at Bhutan's transition to democracy. The film is set in 2006, when Bhutan was transitioning from a monarchy to a democracy. It's about a group of people from different walks of life who come together during this time of change, including monks, villagers, urbanites, and an American antique arms collector. Bhutan has never had an election before, so the government is holding a mock election as a way to train people on the process. This is a challenge in some areas, where people don't know their birth dates and don't have the necessary identification documents. But the government is working hard to make sure everyone has the opportunity to participate. Alama, seeing the changes that were coming to his country, ordered a monk to get to guns. The American visitor, who had come to buy a prized 19th century rifle, assumed the deal would be easy. But he had not anticipated that the Bhutanese, unfamiliar with democracy, were also not easily swayed by the laws of commerce. Along the way, the film explores the impossibility of embracing modernity without reckoning with the past. The ensemble cast of the film includes Tandon Wankook, a musician, Tandon Sonam, an actor, and Harry Einhorn.